Third question is, how do you choose the best roommate for college? Um, there are many ways. You um, don't choose the roommate. <laughs> the roommate chooses you. you. <laughs> sometimes. Uh. And sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. Um, so a lot of times with, um, as you're going in as a first year, it can be random, and a lot of places will just do randomly, but you can also choose someone. Uh, like if you're going to college with someone you know from high school, you can write their name down. Let's talk about why that's a bad idea in a minute. <laughs> Uh, you can also, if there, there, a lot of places do Facebook groups. I know ZMe is a big thing. You can meet people on ZMe and um, Twitter, Instagram, all the different social medias. What's ZMe? Yeah, it's what, a college yeah. application platform thing. There's a whole okay. article about it on College Express. Hmm. Link uh, down below. <laughs> <laughs> it will connect you to. Um, you can like record videos. It's and send them to colleges, and then they also have communication platforms for you to use where you can connect with counselors and people that go to the college already and then as a first year once you're accepted and admitted then you can start talking to people there and possibly find your roommate but I know a big thing is Facebook groups and that's where I found my roommate Ariana Quadrini I love you um come back to me <laughs> she lives in she lives in Denver and she's so far away Madrid wow but <laughs> um, so we found each other on the Facebook group for um, Champlain people. I don't remember how. I think there was like some quiz and we had a couple things in common. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a quiz of like, are you compatible? <laughs> a lot of places will do compatibility quizzes. And we were semi-compatible and we started chatting and we were like, oh, I I here are some of my things. Like, I like to go to bed around this time. I like to go to bed around this time. I'm an early riser. I'm not. It can be quiet. I can do this. I can do that. Um, and then... Like at the end, she, or we're, we're talking, she goes, I just have one final question before we decide. And I said, okay, what? And she goes, can I have the top bunk if we get bunk beds? I said, yeah, sure, whatever. And then I had a roommate. And when you great. know you have the perfect roommate, when they yeah. like want the bed that you don't want. I would have taken either. I wasn't picky about it. But, I had the top um, bunk. It was... <laughs> I love the top pain. bunks. No, because like anytime I wanted to like watch TV or something, like I'd bring my laptop up and then I'd forget like food, so I'd have to jump back down and come back up. Oh, I forget I, like like my it was just like, <laughs> dying. <laughs> it I makes created, me sound lazy, but it was a lot yeah, of work. I created shelves on yeah. the oh, it's, side. I couldn't do that. Up. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Or or like one of those um, have like a table up there against I don't know yeah. something. There's, something there's, that like hangs off your bed. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. The cat, the bed caddies. <laughs> my space. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Anyways. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's a, that's, yeah, so using the social medias to connect with people. Don't always just go with the people that you know. So my best friend asked me recently um, why I was talking about moving in with this friend of mine from college, and she goes, oh, when I ask you to move in, you don't want to, but when he asks you to move in, you say sure, and you start looking for apartments. Did you and say I, that's why? I said, no. <laughs> I said, you're my best friend, and I want to keep it that way. Uh, best friends don't always make the best roommates because you don't want to, um, someone's playing basketball over us apparently, um, because you don't, like, have, living with someone in those small confines, there is very different than hanging out with them a bunch. Yeah. Um, so you don't want to lose friends. My brother lived with a couple of his friends and then he stopped talking to them and then they moved out and he's friends with them now. That's why I don't live with friends. Yeah. I became uh, best friends with uh, a girl that I met at orientation, mm -hmm. and we, well, there's two people I became best friends with. One of them I wanted to room with, um, and the other one I, I kind of knew. I was, she, she's, she told me, we remember we were sitting at the orientation table, and they're just like, talk to the person next to you, and I was like, oh, hey, how's it going? Um, so loser. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> So I was like, what's your major? She's like, aviation. And I was like, what the heck is it? That's like the first time I ever heard the word aviation. That's awesome. um, <laughs> and then I was like, I'm a graphic designer. She's like, cool. I don't know anyone who does that. And this, it was pretty interesting. Did people. you design the side of her plane? I would love to do that. Awesome. If she watches this, then she should hit me she up for that. She definitely watches this. I would hope so. I'm pretty um, sure there's only two people that don't watch this. <laughs> In the whole wide world. Yeah. And we know who they are. Yes. <laughs> we can stop people. <laughs> um, but and so we tried to room together and it fell through uh, with with another person that I had met at orientation, um, not the one who is an aviation major. But 
me and my now friend Shannon, who is an aviation major, uh, just we, a different one. <laughs> sorry, this story is getting confusing. But basically, I was roomed in a quad with three people who I wasn't that close with, um, and they they had parties in the room, and I just wanted to sleep, and I was studying. I was I was boring my freshman year, um, and so we we I was talking to my friend from orientation, and I was like, let's room together. Um, these people didn't like our roommates, um, so it worked out that way. Um, and Dude, then that second semester, or? second semester, yep. And then we were in a triple. We didn't. We both didn't like our third roommate, <laughs> but because we had each other, we yep. we did good. That always like helps the bond. Yeah, yeah. Was, like one person, <laughs> a mutual yeah. hatred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't hate her. She was just very messy. Yeah. Very, mm-hmm. very yeah. messy. That's that's one thing that and you don't also, know until you move. That's what's usually on those quizzes you take. When you, and are they? Are you messy? Also, even then, everyone lie, says yeah. no, and then they like, yeah, answer messy. honestly. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Put on the resume or the survey, like, your worst attitudes, because they will see your worst attitudes mm. at some point. It's also, like, are you messy, or do you mind if someone else is messy? Exactly. Like two different questions? Yes. You can, you can be, like, the cleanest person, and if you enjoy cleaning other people's messes, then you can room with mm. a person who is messy. But if you're someone who is clean and doesn't like other people who are not clean, then do not room with other people who are messy. <laughs> uh, learn that the hard way. Hey. Yeah. yeah, messy people. I yeah. I was. I thought I'd be able to like tolerate a medium. I didn't really know when I took the the quiz. Apparently, I can't tolerate messy people just because like they're like even I'm fine like if it's medium. on your side. Yeah, yeah. But like when it starts coming to like my desk or like even like right. touches my bed, <laughs> or or I'm like <laughs> no. It's like yeah. It's one thing to be like messy in the confines of yeah. your space. But then if, if you're messy and then something starts to smell, mm-hmm. <laughs> then that's a whole new yeah. territory that yeah. you need to... Yeah. It, it affects the whole room. Plus, my roommate, my sophomore year, I didn't like her very much. We just, like, didn't get along. She would leave food out all the time, so she'd go home for, like, uh, winter break or something, and there'd be crumbs and food mm-hmm. out. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I have to clean this because we're going to get, like, bugs it's and, a safety like, hazard. gross yeah. stuff in here, like... Bugs and mice, they Bugs. get in the room. Yep. Don't think they don't. No. Mold. <laughs> so clean up your food. <laughs> it's gross. That's a, yeah. I think introducing a kitchen <laughs> is a whole new element as well. Because mm-hmm. I lived with one of my buddies second semester of freshman year, and we got along famously. And then when we decided to move into an apartment, uh, we ended up getting a place that had a kitchen so we could all cook and, and enjoy. But... Dude does not know how to do the dishes, doesn't know how to soak a pan. Dishes are a silent killer. Yeah, dishes on the side. No, they're not silent. Oh, they're They're passive-aggressive. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 100%. Extremely passive-aggressive. And the worst is, I don't like pesto to this day, because he used to make pesto sauce. Every night, well, I won't, in my head, it's every yeah. time. It's most, probably most a couple of nights yeah. a week. I'm guessing it happened one out. time. Every <laughs> night. It's hard for the rest of your life. But yeah, it was just cleaning that pl- uh, pan of green grossness. Mm. And, um, Yummy. You know, I, I had the roommate who, um, I had, when I was in Dublin, we, I had two roommates. One of them I got along with really well at the beginning of the semester. That's all at the end. Um, because of just so much tension building, especially with our third roommate. Our third roommate cursed me at 3 o'clock in the morning. It happened. She was speaking in tongues. It was the scariest thing ever. And then I I went to our other roommate who had her own room. She had two beds that she pushed together, and I was like, I don't feel comfortable living with her anymore because we shared a room and we were six inches apart. Like, literally, there was this much space between our beds. And I was like, I don't want to stay in this room anymore. And she's like, it's only a month. I think you can stick it out. And I'm like... What? <laughs> it's it gets to a point where you have to check your your mental sanity, and mm-hmm. if you can't keep like a good level head within like the amount of time that you're gonna be living in that room, then you need to address the situation. Mm-hmm. Because it's like with with my situation of moving to the second room, um, it was sometimes torture. Yep. Um, with the microwave being right next to my head, she would she'd microwave like cheese burritos at two in the morning <laughs> after partying all night. Um, and then bringing, like, a guy back into the room <laughs> afterwards. After and, the uh, cheese burrito? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 she wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
God, no. She, I don't think, I can count how many times I had a conversation with her, and I think it was two conversations out of a whole semester. Yeah, Yo, you making a cheeseburger? <laughs> 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 Microwave that elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's like killing brain cells. <laughs> yeah. I, also, I also know that I was kind of one of the bad roommates. When I was in Dublin, because one of our roommates, the the one that cursed me at 3 o'clock in the morning, um, was not a social person. Like, she came to, she, she wasn't, she didn't do the parties and stuff. And we were like, oh, we'll just have people over to our apartment. And we would, like, all hang out. And, like, half the program would come. There were 27 people in the program. At one point, we had 19 people in our room. Oh. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't a small room. It was a full apartment. And she was, like, hiding in her bedroom and... She had the door closed, yeah. and we had the door to, like, the living area closed, and it was really annoying to her. She's like, why does everyone have to be over here? And we're like, we're social people. Sorry. <laughs> you knew this about us. And, like, that's another instance of don't live with people just because you know them. Because I ended up living with her because um, she was like, we were in the same program. And she goes, I don't have anyone to live with in Dublin. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll live with you. And did not do any research first. I I did the same thing when I uh, went to D.C. on an internship for a summer. Uh, I roomed with um, a girl in my sorority, and I love her to death, but she could be messy sometimes and uh, drove me up a wall. (laughs) Um, Thankfully, we didn't live in the same room, even though that's what we intended, but, like, it was a blessing in disguise that we we, we were in two separate rooms in the same apartment, um, so then I didn't have to look at the mess in her room. It, it was just the common areas that I, I fussed over, and then she went back to her room, and I was like, okay, we're, we're best friends again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where, like, that roommate agreement comes in handy, yeah. too. When I was in London, like, we didn't have that, and I lived in a suite, so, like, the kitchen was right next to this girl's room, and the kitchen also had the washer and dryer machine. And so on a Saturday night, I wasn't going out. It was like probably like 10, 30, 11. And I really needed to do my laundry. So I was like, I'll just do my laundry. There and the girl, in there. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's, it's fine. Well, the laundry machine like sings a little bit when, it do- when it's done for like two minutes. So it's oh, kind of annoying. Two minutes. Yeah. It's a long one. <laughs> you know oh. when it's done. And so I forgot that the girl who lives right there, she goes to sleep at like 7 o'clock at night, I guess. Um, and it was a Saturday, so I was like, I know it's a little late, but... Everyone's probably out, so it's yeah. fine if I do my laundry. Plus, it's like it's only annoying at the end. She heard me put the laundry in there. Like, I didn't even shut the door, and she just comes in. She's like, "Are you really doing your laundry right now?" I was like, "Guess not." <laughs> not I don't have <laughs> socks. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so I'll just be dirty tomorrow. And so she got like really pissed at me and like never talked to me for the rest of the time I was there. So maybe just like figure out like what people like you quickly kind of realize what people like and don't yeah. like but like yeah. figure Pretty, out like yeah. sleep yes yeah. times schedules so everyone's yeah. really different yeah, yeah i feel like for choosing the best roommate freshman year is very difficult but you guys are talking about the apps yeah. and like reaching out beforehand which is great i did none of that and uh, i live with old rob which oh, yeah. you two have heard stories of old rob before but uh, my freshman first semester was with old Rob, and he liked to parade around with his robe open, <laughs> playing Guitar Hero, and um, <laughs> yes, it was a nightmare, and I ended up moving in with two of my buddies for the second semester into a forced triple, because it was supposed to be a double, and that worked out great, and I ended up living with one of them for three years, so... You get to know people. Uh, Online might not be the best way to meet them, but you'll get a better idea rather than just getting put in a room with all right. And (laughs) when Kara said she wasn't the best roommate at one point, we have one of my buddies who lived with me for three years. Met him freshman year. He was a year behind me. And he is not a social kid at all. Super nice. Cleans up for pretty much everything. If we cooked, he cleaned and that was just kind of like his duty around the, the house, the apartment. And when we would go out, we would always try to get him to come out, but he didn't mm-hmm. most of the time. And so we got belligerent one night <laughs> and just kept knocking on his door and be like, ah, it's all, get out of the room. And he never came out, so wow. stick to your guns. <laughs> <laughs> on which side of the door? <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, on his side, because we eventually left. But, uh, yeah, know, know who you're rooming with is yeah. uh, mm-hmm. definitely good. Because he knew exactly what he was getting himself into. Yeah. And we're still friends. Mm-hmm. It's coming up the wall. 
Mm-hmm. I think also on the Facebook um, app, like, the way you could find a good roommate mm-hmm. was a lot of people would, and they send, like, a group, like, yep. set up a group with you that once you get accepted, like, yeah. accepted. Yeah. I feel like there was an app that we went on through Facebook. And it, like, brought you into an internal group or something. I don't remember. Maybe. I think it's I got an email at school. Yeah. They, I, I would say it's a, almost a guarantee that each school has at least some type of page app yeah. or something for, like, that designated class. <coughs> but a lot of people would go on there and just, like, write a small paragraph about themselves and be like, I'm looking for a roommate. And then, like, I would see a bunch of comments being like, I also, like... I just like that. Eating. I'm looking for a roommate. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> just one of, send one it. of my no personal I, too, am looking for a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how, like, people got connected on yeah. social media in yeah. case you didn't know how it was done. <laughs> Shocker. Wow. <laughs> one of my friends to this day posted on the Accepted Students class of 2018 page um, them skydiving right after <laughs> taking the um, tests that, you know, that accept the whatever tests that you get um <laughs> and i was i remember thinking looking at that picture i was like what a weirdo like he is such a weird person and then like now we're best friends <laughs> yeah it was like he uh, posted that in the group yeah just, like he, not say anything oh no he he put like, or he's like all, i want a roommate <laughs> so i remember like <laughs> we'll <That's> jump <laughs> for you <laughs> i'll oh jump for a roommate <laughs> Well, I mean, it was just funny because, like, we, a bunch of people went to take, like, the math test, um, <laughs> which I failed, <laughs> and then he posts on Facebook an hour later, he's like, yeah, I took the test, and then I went skydiving, like, I don't, I don't know what he, if he was trying to get a roommate out of that, but I, I, I definitely, yeah, like, <laughs> I can yeah. take math tests, and I skydive. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny that we're just Sounds like you're on, like, a matchmaker site playing. or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's room. it's really like <laughs> personal ads from the back of yes, the day yeah, with the newspapers. It is looking in search of him. Yeah. I would just like read through them sometimes to see like what weird things people would say oh, about yeah. themselves. Yeah. I'm like I don't want to be roommates with any of you. But no, I want to go back and read. <laughs> <See, laughs> I I was admittedly very judgmental, and now looking back at it, I'm like most of these people are my friends that I I made fun of. <laughs> yeah. I was like happen. I'm just as weird. I just didn't show it as much. <laughs> I know one girl that was like. I like the squirrels. <laughs> and then she ended up being the girl that lives next door to me, and she ended up just grabbing a squirrel <laughs> outside, and it was her pet. No, thank you. In the oh room, my like... God. Impressive. Yeah. That's, I remember, yeah, we had a, a Facebook group, mm-hmm. and Steve Pinkham, shout out to you, because we ended up becoming friends after, and he was one of the guys I moved in with second semester, or, yeah, freshman year. And his profile picture, he's this... Like five foot eight Asian kid, cornrows. Uh-huh. And I was like, damn, wow. who is this kid? And I was like, I'm never gonna talk to him. And just scroll past, and then later on, he became good friends. Shaved off all of his hair, it looks good. Nice. Yeah. Tries new things. Yeah. Tries new things. <laughs> <laughs> it's in his head. It's not skydiving, but it's something. Well, shaved head. Yeah. 